Hello! In this video I show the advanced functionalities of the Canon Maxify GX models. I cover the following. There are different model names and ink bottles as well in different regions. For the product review check the video in the upper right corner. I put on the screen the differences between the two models and I use GX2040 in this video. Before I continue with the video content I would be happy if you subscribe and support my channel so I will be able to create more content in the future. Let's switch the connection from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. My printer has been set up and connected to Wi-Fi with Canon Print App in the previous video. First I show how to log in as admin into the device. Here is the IP address and I can access device settings also via the mobile app but the device web interface cannot be displayed because I have not yet set the admin password. So I need to set the admin password first. Follow the next steps. The factory default admin password is serial number of the device and you can find it at the back of the printer. Now I can change or delete the password. I change it for the following scope remote UI and other tools. I simply just enter the word password, but it is recommended to use a stronger one. The password has been set and I check the IP address and enter to the web browser. I can log in into the remote user interface using the admin password. Lots of settings are available from the main menu and about the maintenance utilities I show full details on print hat replacement and maintenance in the video in the upper right corner. In the online manuals you can find more information and in the next part I cover about the cloud connection. In the scan menu I select save to cloud and I find many cloud services or cloud storage sites. First I select save to smartphone as this function does not require any setup or any app on the mobile. Set the document and set settings and press start to scan to cloud. While my document is being scanned to the cloud let me remind you about my next video for this model which is about driver and software installation and where I show also how to save 50% of ink while printing on the printer. 
the printer displays the QR code on the screen, which I scan using the mobile and retrieve the document. So far, no additional installation or application was needed to scan to mobile or scan to cloud. I can select Cloud Services also from the main menu on the Canon Print app. First, I need to go through a couple of steps to complete the registration. The same cloud services are available as previously from the device menu. For the demonstration I select G Drive and connect one of my accounts. On my G Drive I create a new folder, set the document and scan to Cloud. Let's open the link in the user manuals where I start registration of my device to Canon Cloud Printing Center. It requires the device token. I get the token by printing the user registration from the Web Service Connection Setup menu. A few moments later the information is printed with ID of my device. After registration of the product a few additional steps are required and my device registration to Canon Cloud Printing Center is complete. Now I can manage and configure the cloud menu of my Maxify via this portal. In the history I see two jobs. One is my previous scan to G Drive. As a user you can explore new applications when they are available. At any time, Canon can add additional or take away some of these services. One of the apps that can be added is Uniflow Online. It is secure public cloud print and scan solution for managing the print environment, including cost management. It brings enterprise security standards to the Maxify GX series. I need a special license of the Uniflow account to log in. I do not cover the Uniflow solution detailed in this video, so I can invite you to find more on the official Uniflow online webpage about the possibilities, managing the cost and secure print. On the right you see opening the Canon print app where Maxify device is offline and I am scanning to the cloud. For remote use I recommend that Maxify is set to Auto Power On. When the cloud job arrives, 
the device will automatically power on, print the job or scan and then power off after the set amount of time. Few moments later the scan job is done and I can check the history of my cloud jobs via the same portal. In the last part I quickly cover the security features. On this device you find new recommended security setting options. More information about effect and impact of security settings is available from the online manuals. From the printer you can also access the same scenarios. The online manuals for security guide are available for all Maxify GX models. I scroll down the available settings from printer display or from remote UI. And that would be all in this video. Find more about Maxify GX Series videos in the playlist. Feel free to comment and do not forget to subscribe to support my channel so I can create more advanced content. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.